all right welcome this is the first lesson and in this lesson i want to teach you uh different left hand patterns all right so there are different left hand patterns that can be used uh to accompany your right hand melody let's say for example amazing grace uh, this is the melody okay so that's the melody and with this melody uh, we have a chord c all right and chord f played a first inversion which is c f and a that's f major chord so c chord is c e g f major would be c f a and if i take this entire position one key towards my right i get a next chord which is g chord so this song has only three chords which is c f and g that's it so here's the melody with the chord in the left hand c chord again f chord back to c c g c again f chord now here you make a g and end with c okay so the first pattern that we learn is what we call is block chord so we're just holding the chord for an entire bar and moving around the second one <clears throat> is you take the same block chord but create a rhythm pattern as in like this just like you would strum a guitar or something it creates a beautiful flavor move to g right and so on and so forth so that's the second pattern where you are playing uh, like uh, you're strumming the guitar chords or something okay so the first one is block chord the second is strum like a guitar <laughs> let's look at the third one the third one um, i call it a root 5 root pattern now what do i mean by that if for example if you are in the key of c and sorry i'm we are in the key of c but we are playing a c chord we have three chord notes c e g let's name them or number them rather 1 3 and 5 so c is my one note e is my third and g is my fifth so what we're going to do is omit the third and we just keep the one and the fifth and add one more c all right so this is how we play c with my second finger i would play g which is the fifth and a root so it's like kind of sandwich you have a bread over here you have a bread over here and you have vegetable veg veggies in the middle okay so c here c here and you have the fifth of the chord which is g so this is called root fifth root which is an octave up all right so let's look at this pattern and how this goes now f back to c so it creates beautiful flavor see that that's amazing um thing you can use for not just for amazing grace you can use for many many other other songs it just creates beautiful uh idea so that's the third and let's look at the fourth one the fourth one what we're going to do is use the same idea but extend it by moving your finger number 3 on the very next note after the root which is an octave actually and one more note so we will call it root fifth octave which is the eighth one 
9 and 10 all right so that is the pattern c g c d e now if you're on the f you would do the same thing root is f the fifth of f would be c and the root or octave is another f then you go next note which is the 9 and then 10 all right so let's put it in this context and see this sounds beautiful and so on okay so these are the first four i gave you so let's uh, recall block chord that's your first pattern second pattern is uh, strum like a guitar chord the third pattern is root five root the fourth is root five root nine ten pattern okay so have fun uh, and apply this to different songs uh, you will see the link of a pdf file of this song amazing grace the melody and you can use this left hand pattern to make your song sound beautiful <laughs>